Thank you, Global Health Technologies Coalition, for this recognition. The work that you do is so important in advancing policies that lead to the reach and development of life-saving drugs. You've been a champion for increased investment in global health, and I'm so proud to be a supporter of your efforts to advocate for continued leadership by the United States and provide life-saving resources to give people all over the world hope for a brighter future. As an optometrist, I had the opportunity to help with eye care in Costa Rica and places like Haiti. It was fulfilling to help patients there and see just how appreciative they were for the services that we provided. It continues to be rewarding to know that our investments are making a positive impact on the health needs of the global community. In 2003, under the leadership of President Bush, we launched the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, commonly referred to as PEPFAR. This initiative has led to millions of people receiving life-saving antiretroviral drugs in Sub-Saharan Africa and has been instrumental in decreasing malaria. As a founder and co-chairman of the Congressional Caucus on Malaria and Neglected Tropical Diseases, I've worked with the governmental, faith-based, and private organizations to facilitate partnerships and reach populations impacted by tropical diseases. Here in the United States, we have successfully eradicated malaria. We have an obligation to show people how they can be protected from the devastating effects of the disease. While we can help treat and prevent those diseases we have cures for, it's just as important to invest in the development of new vaccines, drugs, and diagnostics. The COVID-19 emergency illustrates the importance of research and development in fighting deadly diseases. This outbreak demonstrates how globally connected we are and why helping solve health issues abroad also helps our own country. That's why research development is so, so very important. Investing in tools to prevent and treat COVID-19 and future health threats will support lives and economies here and globally. Proactively investing in research and development will deliver innovations to combat emerging health challenges and build a safe and a healthier world. I've worked closely with USAID administrators to ensure it receives the resources to support its mission to advance global health and provide individuals across the globe access to affordable treatments. USAID has been a reliable partner in identifying the needs of communities abroad through partnerships with nonprofit and private sector organizations. USAID has contributed to impressive health breakthroughs, including anti-malarials, and tools to combat malaria and other diseases. In addition to advancing global health and combating diseases, USAID supports research and innovation to improve food production and end the cycle of hunger and poverty. A lack of adequate nutrition can harm the development of young children and lead to greater health issues as they grow up, but we are in a good position to help with that. USAID's Feed the Future initiative has helped farmers protect their crops from pest and disease, as well as scaled up evidence-based food technology solutions such as micronutrient supplements, fortified foods, and biofortified nutrient-rich staple food crops. With the agricultural supply chain disrupted by COVID-19, it is more important now than ever that our international food assistance programs continue. We can be proud of our nation's leadership in advancing medical research and developing vaccines and treatments to improve the lives of people around the globe. I'm proud to support funding for USAID and increase investments so we can help pave a path to a healthy future for people no matter where they live. Thank you again so much for this honor.